Hi, so select similar script version one. I'll just quickly go over it uh, as usual and how to uh, install and uh, set up everything. Uh, once you downloaded the uh, RAR file and extracted, you should see this folder with a few files. The uh, icon, as usual, goes into the uh, documents Maya 216 <coughs> prefs icons. So just copy paste it here if you want to use the um, custom icon. Uh, help files for those who might not see this uh, this video and the main files. So go into Maya, open a script editor and then just uh, drag and drop the make sure you're on the mail tab just drag and drop it here select all control a and middle mouse drag it onto the shelf okay let's quickly set up so open mm, you can clean this dude uh, select all we can call it select so, and then uh, find the icon case so, so so that's it I already have it here but uh, yeah this is this is how you set up this uh, uh, initial thing now uh, let me quickly show you how it works okay so I have uh, now here um, some scene just to show you uh, how how it works now and uh, why is uh, why is it different from the default you have already the uh, select and similar right um how it usually uh, how i usually use the sim default maya similar is if in a component mode let's say um select uh, let's say this face and then run the select similar it will select uh, try to select uh, similar faces right I'm pressing G key here and that works with the component mode but uh, the problem is that um, some at least I expected it um, when you select in object mode it kind of expect this will select all the spheres here and what actually happens is that you select everything and this is because the uh, default Maya similar uh, works uh, in a way that it selects similar mesh uh, as a similar node so this in this case are meshes and that means all objects in the scene mesh objects in the scene and this is not exactly what what i uh want or kind of expect this this kind of came came in handy sometimes but the in this case i, I actually just want to select these spheres or uh, similar objects um and that's why is the uh this script which is a little bit uh, context uh, sensitive uh, meaning that um, if you are in uh, component mode, they select some of the components, let's say this face, and then press it. Uh, it will select the. It will use default Maya similar, right? So it will uh, it will use it for component selection, similar component selection, and it works with the faces, edges, and verses, right? Um, once you um, so let's say. Um, and this and then press it it will select similar uh, similar components but as soon as you are in uh, object mode you know, right go into object mode and you press the uh, again this button see how it selects uh, the similar uh, same objects uh, if I try this and then press again see uh, and I'm pressing G key here and select again right um, the good thing also is that um, it works with multiple objects, uh, meaning that if you select this and this object, it will select everything, right, which you have selected. So it's not uh, limited to just one object and similar to those. So you can add the selection, let's say I have this selected and let's say this one and select everything like this, right. So that's uh, another handy thing. Now. Um, to have in something in mind it's let's say you have this uh, cubes here and let me scale this so uh, this in a way um, it is a similar object but it's it is and it's not right in a way so in this case if I let's say select one and I want to select similar objects see how it selects only the same objects right so it will not it will take the uh, scale 
into account and we will not select those small cues uh, as, uh, which means that the script sees them as the uh, different objects see which is why there is uh, the second if i go back to the so this this is why you have the second script the topper now um, how uh, how i set up it uh, with default is to if i open again let's do this like this so okay so drag and drop the k similar topper right here and then uh, on the shelf created go to edit pop-up then create this plus click on this plus and then rename it uh, select similar top one you can call it whatever you want and uh, make sure your language of sml delete that with default and then just uh, select all and middle mouse drag it here right so now you have it uh, select similar topo like this okay so um why is this uh, dif uh, different uh, why this different script uh, is because um, as i said before there may be some cases where you want to select uh, all the objects similar no matter of the scale so it will take the topology into account so in this case like if i right click on uh, it, it will select uh, only the same scale object but not the smaller ones but if i select this one and then uh, use the select similar topology right it will select all the uh, same object and will um, no matter of the scale right so uh, so that's the different the, uh, it, it's up to you uh, if whatever you find useful in certain cases i find myself more uh, more used just um, more uh, mostly use just the default uh, exactly the same objects and not the scale but yeah some sometimes it's useful to have it uh, like this and this one also works uh, 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 on multiple objects let's say like this and this then select similar topology right this selects everything and then i can do again like this um the select similar topology works only only with object um, object mode right it's not the same as when you right uh, left click uh, on the shelf as i before um, it will not if i do like select this one and then topology it makes no sense it will not do anything uh, this is only for uh, when you when you left click and like this use the first script right what else what else what else uh, one thing i would like to uh, the potential uh, issue you might uh, come across is when uh, when using the uh, uh, when you left click right so it's not the uh, select similar topology but the previous one um, let's say i have this like this and then uh, let me delete this edge right so uh, if i i just did uh, delete the edge and let's say i select again as you can see um, even though uh, the main uh, main object has the same is the same like the same volume let's say the topology is different um, but in a way it's not it's not the same object again and i found that this is mostly because this is happening because when i when i deleted the edge uh, there is still history so in a way the script sees the object before the input here so uh, if that happens to you uh, make sure you delete the history if i let's say delete history so no, no inputs and then again select this one as you can see now it selects correctly so sometimes if you notice something is not right uh, try to delete the history mm -hmm. what else what else what else so this is basically i think it for how how this works so where could you use these scripts could be with modeling I use it with modeling a lot. Uh, also, with the um, when I do look dev, 
and assigning shaders also super useful especially when you have a lot of objects uh, similar objects like let's say uh, smaller screws or s stuff like that all over your um, your model so um, another handy thing you you could use the script with is uh, I have it here is replace objects um, which is I have it uh, as a, so modify replace objects here I have it in the, in the um, I have it here in the shelf because it's kind of easier to go here in one place rather than in uh, main menu and you can do uh, you can put it in the shelf if you go to modify uh, press shift control on this square little square and then right click and edit then copy this okay you can delete it now here we copy it now again edit uh, right click and edit pop up uh, create new replace objects delete this and copy paste here okay so now when you uh, you have this option here it's if that's what you want right you don't have to do it but i kind of find it uh, find more easier to access it like this so what how can you use this um, let me show you i have something uh, here okay so um so i have this sub uh, small screws and how you can use it together with select similar and replace objects so let's say i want i, I already have placed the um the screws and everything and then later i find let's okay i don't like these screws i would like to change them and that might take a while to arrange them um exactly this in the same position so um what you can do is uh, let's say i want to replace them with this object right um so you can use select similar i select uh, select this one screw and then uh, select uh, all similar right and then last select the the object you want to replace with then go into the replace objects uh, i usually go without scale and apply and it's everything is changed then you can um, again select similar since it's kept the um, re, um, the transformations are kept if you go into object mode you can adjust them like this if you want right so that's handy and a little thing right uh, in case you want to scale uh, which is let's say uh, you have the same object but a different scale so let's say I want to like this um, in this case, I would like to use, if I select, uh, again, left click on this, see, see how it just select these two, but I want to select uh, all the screws. And then in that case, I would use the right click and then select similar topology, selects everything. But first, let me, uh, let's say I want to replace it with this uh, world origin. And then I like to place it uh, when I uh, when I want to replace the objects. I kind of uh, scale this one, uh, this uh, uh, screws I want to replace with uh, to be about the same size of the, as the smallest one uh, I want to replace. Like this, this one are the smallest. Uh, say uh, around this size. Okay. Um, so I'm selecting the select top one, then last select the object I want to replace with. Go replace objects and this time scale and apply scale. Then you have the scale also uh, taken into account here. So this is how you can use the um, one of the ways you can use the replace objects as I could say. As, as I said before, you can use it for, uh, let's say, select similar, right? And then uh, super easy to just assign new material. Uh, why did it go here? I can just uh, favorite to blend, let's say. And then, right? So, yep, yeah. something like this. Uh, 
instead of going into outliner sometimes you you know you can you can have this all arranged nice and um, nice and tidy uh, but the uh, i find it visually more faster to work like if you select i want to select this one select them all like this rather than searching in outliner it's easy it's easy like here if you have simple uh, scene but uh, once the uh, scene gets uh, bigger it's a little bit more tedious to go back and forward in outliner mm, okay i think this is it so the fall similar topo replace yep yeah, that's it that is all okay i, I hope you find this uh, script uh, useful it's nothing nothing super offensive and, and um game changing i guess but could come in handy from time to time right <laughs> okay cheers